I'm going to take my time and break down every note and we will play the exact same notes the same way and I will even break down the fingering. All right. So that way you're able to play this in all 12 keys with confidence. So that way you're not nervous, even though we're in the key of F, you're going to play the same thing in the key of E, same thing in D. <laughs> and you won't be nervous. You'll have the same confidence that you played in one key in all 12 keys. The first part plays four notes. So we're going to start in the key of F. These are the four notes. One, two, three, four. Do it again. Now fingering is essential. All right. So that's why you see that three, three, two, one, three, three, two, one. And these are the notes. E flat, D, C, and then B. So this is how you close it out. You're going to do three, two, three, four, two, one. Do it again. Speed it up. Speed it up. Notice the fingering is three, two, three, four, two, one. Three, three, two, one, three, two, three, four, two, one. All right, here we go. There are three different ways to approach this. You can play it basic, or you can go even more basic by playing the pentatonic scale. And I'm going to break this down for you guys so that way you're not confused and you understand the theory behind what we're playing. Let's play an E flat major scale. E flat major scale goes like this. Very plain. Now what we're going to do is start on the second scale degree. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. We're going to start on the second scale degree, which is right here. So start on the F. And that's known as the F Dorian scale. <laughs> Dorian means the second scale degree. All right. And that's the mode that we're in. All right. So. And what we're going to do now is combine the blues scale. All right. So we're only combining the Dorian with the blues scale. So F blues sounds like this. All right. And let me slow that down for you guys. If you notice, Fingering is going to be essential. So we'll play these three notes and then we'll play these three notes and combine them together. Three, 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 split them up. And again, we're going to do this in all 12 keys guys. All right. So we're going to combine this F Dorian to the F blues. If you notice, there is something that makes this sound urban, more gospel, has an urban type of feel. You hear that a lot. All right. And what we're going to do is, and then we're going to combine those scales. Now, if you notice, one, two, three, five, six, it's actually a pentatonic scale. So that's why you hear a lot of guys play this scale and they sound amazing. Well, it's actually just these two notes, these three notes these two notes, these three notes, and combine them. You hear a lot of gospel musicians do that, a lot of jazz, a lot of neo soul, but also you hear a lot of vocalists do that. All right, you'll notice it's gonna be the same fingering, just different notes. So in the key of B flat, you're gonna play these four notes. That's an A flat, G, F, E. Again, if you have the PDF, it makes it so much easier to follow along. All right. And it's free for a limited time. So that's why I'm encouraging you guys to subscribe. I say this all the time, subscribe, click the notification bell and uh, click that thumbs up. That gives me the encouragement to continue to cr produce videos like this and to create, you know, amazing content for you guys. All right. So uh, I won't be calling out the letters because that's going to take so much time. All right. So these are the four notes. I'll go a little bit slower for you. Again, that's three, three, two, one. And then we're going to go into the second phrase or the second half of this scale. So that's again, so combine them together.
<laughs> Y'all remember from the churchy videos. All right. So with that being said and done, that's the B flat. I call it the pentatonic blending with blended with that uh, Dorian scale. And again, if you're confused about what Dorian is, you're starting on the second scale degree. So if we're in B flat, that's two of what key? B flat is two of the key of A flat major. So A flat, and then you're gonna start on the second scale degree, so that's gonna be B flat. All right, and we're combining that with the B flat uh, blues. All right, and then when you combine all of it together and you even do that pentatonic, that's the pentatonic. That's a D flat pentatonic. All right, so let's, let's do this run. I've given you the four notes and then the next phrase. So now we're in the key of E flat and we're gonna play these four notes, same fingering that we played in B flat and F. All right, I'll slow that down for you. Hopefully you're following along in that PDF. And what we're gonna do is, those four notes, and I want you to really honestly, don't, I don't want you to start off trying to go fast. I mean, that's cool if you can do it. All right, but focus on the pace so that way it, it connects. Because you don't want the listener to hear and then it just doesn't fit. So whatever speed you start off with, you got to finish off with. All right. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't play, I don't learn songs quickly. I don't learn riffs quickly. Um, but once I get it in my system, I'm good. So how do I get it in my system? I go over and over and over. <laughs> I'll just do this. I might do this for a good 10 minutes. Just, just so my fingers can move quickly or move quicker than my brain can move. So when I'm in E flat. I know I'm gonna start right there, all right? So here we go. And then let's finish it off. Same fingering. Three, two, three, four, two, one. So combine them together. Keep going. All right. So that's the key of E flat. Let's go to A flat. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the same fingering or use the same fingering, different notes. All right, here we go. Again, I'll slow it down for you. Three, three, two, one. And then remember, three. Slow it down. Now, y'all know, all my church people, y'all know e fl A flat is that churchy key, and we love the blazing A flat. <laughs> all right, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna suppress my ego. That's a word right there for somebody. I'm gonna suppress my ego and not try to go through this and play it fast, uh, because it's one of those keys that we all feel super comfortable in. I'm gonna keep it at this pace. because I want to make sure I master this scale. All right, and that's basically all four keys. The same fingering, we covered F, B flat, E flat, and A flat. Now we're gonna to go to our gray section or our gray fingering. And in that key, we're gonna, well, with that finger, we're gonna cover three different keys. We're gonna cover, uh, let's see, C sharp, or some of us call it D flat, and then we're gonna cover F sharp, and then we're gonna cover B. That finger is gonna work for those three keys. All right, so let's jump into the gray section. So for a point of reference, we'll call this D flat. 
Technically it will be C sharp, but I'm gonna call it D flat because it ties into the flat mindset. All right, so with that being said and done, this has the same fingering for a D flat or C sharp as it does for F sharp and B. If you notice, we start with the thumb this time. So in the key of C sharp or D flat, we start with the thumb. So it's gonna be one, and you can see this over here. One, three, two, one. Do it again. Get comfortable with that. And you might wanna even jump octaves. One, three, two, one. And then we're gonna close it out with this. I'll do it slower. Two, one, two, three, one, two. Two, one, two, three, one, two. So you close it on a two because if you're here, you can pivot and you can keep going. See that, how that allows me to be able to move like that. All right, so here we go. Let's do it together. All right, there you go. And that same fingering is gonna carry into the next key, which will be F sharp. All right, so let's go to F sharp. All right, so now we're in F sharp. All right, or <laughs> F sharp blues. Now what we're gonna do is same fingering that we did in D flat or C sharp. And what we're gonna do is start off on this note here, E. Same fingering, uh, so this is one, three, two, one. And then you're gonna close out. And then two, one, two, three, one, two. So I like to, again, Go through that first section, and then boom. Do it again. Do it again. Combine it. There you go. And believe it or not, that's it for the key of F sharp. Let's go to the next one, which is the key of B. So we're in the key of B, sounds and plays the same way, same fingering, nothing fancy, right? So here are the first four notes. One, three, two, one. And you can do it here. All right, so here we go. And then we'll, we're gonna do that same fingering that we used in F sharp. So the next, next group will be this. Do it again. And that's it, man. <laughs> Nothing else to it, man. So you have your C sharp or D flat, you got your F sharp and the key of B. And this last group, man, it's super easy. I I don't know, man, it's, it's so weird. If you can, comment below, let me know which group is easier for you to play. For me, the white keys, you would think it would be the black keys because I'm churchy. You know, I was raised, fire baptized, holiness, you know, in the holiness church. But playing the white keys is actually much easier. The fingering, it just feels better. It feels easier, I can flow better, uh, less hurdles to jump over. So playing in the white keys is actually easier for me than playing in the black keys as it relates to this scale and this run and this lick. All right, so let's jump into our last group, which is our white group or our white keys. So in the white keys, we'll start with the key of E and then we'll go to A and then we'll go to D and then we'll go to G and then we'll close out on C. This fingering works for all five of those keys. E, A, D, G, and C. So you'll notice in the key of E, we're gonna start with only three notes this time, not four like in the other keys. We're only gonna do three notes. So it'll be this note, this note, and this note. D, C sharp, and then B. And just, this is the fingering, three, two, one. And it's just so much easier for some reason to play in this key or play these keys. All right, so three, two, one. And then we're gonna do our slide. Let me do that first part again. Three, two, one. 
three, two, one. And then the next group. Boom, 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 boom. The fingering is three, three, two, three, four, two, one. Three, three, two, three, four, two, one. Three, three, two, three, four. That's how you build your speed. Keep that cadence going. Again, y'all know I don't learn songs quickly. I don't learn phrases quickly. I only do proper, correct repetition. <laughs> so perfect practice makes perfect, especially for people like me. I don't see something one time and I'm able to play it. I don't have perfect pitch. I just drill myself, all right? So you have those three notes. Connect them. All right. All right. So that's the key of E. Let's do that same fingering in the key of A. Again, I said it once and I'm going to say it again. This fingering works for E, A, D, G, and C. So once you learn the fingering and get that in your subconscious, Playing in all these five keys will be so much easier, all right? So again, hopefully you're following along in the PDF as well. So in the key of A, we're gonna start off with these three notes. I'll play it slowly for you. And then you're gonna start your slide. So let's do the first three notes one more time. Make sure you got it. All right, here we go. Let's go into the next group. Now let's slow that down. Three, three, two, three, four, two, one. You can see the numbers here. So you're gonna slide it down. Three, three, two, three, four, and then two, one. Just do it over and over. Go. All right, so now we have A out the way. Let's go to our next key, which is D. So now we're in the key of D, same fingering. D is actually easier. It's probably one of the easiest ones because it's just a lot of white keys. <laughs> so three, two, one, these three notes we're gonna start off with. And then slide off of this A flat or probably it looks like a G sharp uh, on the screen because we're in the key of D, so. And then A flat, slide it down. All right, let's do the first three notes one more time. Make sure you're comfortable with that. Make sure you can kind of speed it up a little bit at an even pace. All right, so whatever pace you start off with, you got to keep it going. So if you start off fast, <laughs> then you got to make, oh, that was nice. <laughs> That was by accident, all right? So what we're gonna do is, so let's go to the next group. So we have this three, and then, so three, three, two, three, four, two, one. All right, so. Okay, so in the key of G, same fingering, different notes. All right, so let's break that down. First three notes. And remember to build a pace, something that you're comfortable with doing. And then you build your speed. All right. And then, Next group, start on that C sharp and then slide down. So three, three, two, three, four, two, one. Three, three, two, three, four, two, one. All right. Keep it going. 
right, cool. That's key of G. Okay, so we're in the key of C. Same fingering, different notes. If you notice in the key of C, we're gonna start with a B flat. These are the first three notes. Or you can play it down here if you want. So, and then the next group is where we start our slide. Do it again. You can do it here. So add all three notes. Again, pace is everything, so please don't rush through these exercises or through these keys. I want you to pace yourself so that way you feel comfortable. So when you're in a live situation, you're not stumbling. You know, <laughs> it's not sloppy, right? Uh, what is it? Clean cleanliness is next to godliness, right? God is present when it's clean. <laughs> so make sure you go through each key and take your time and build your own pace. It's not a race. All right. So with that being said and done, you all know I love you so very much. And I never look, like to close out any video without letting you know that today is a new day. It's a new life. It's a new opportunity for you to become a better you. I love you guys so much. Again, thank you so much for your love, your support, the likes, the comments. And don't forget to comment below which group was easier for you to play. Is Was it the green group? Was it the gray group? Or was it the white group? I'm going to continue to upload videos like this um, and if you subscribe and you click the notification bell you get notified of when these videos drop not just that but you're also able to head over to the website and download the supplemental material free of charge you don't have to pay, pay the transaction fee uh, because well I'm we're covering that for the first day or so all right so love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video